I originally started working in Wensbury um, on the old Youth Opportunity Scheme, that's going back some time now, but uh, that was a, a joinery apprenticeship and I worked for about eight years, I was stuck as a joiner. Um, the place is gone now, it's, it used to stand behind what's now Morrison Spectral Station, top of Meeting Street in Wensbury. This place was called Harley Evans. Um, and we used to work all over the country doing the journey work. We actually, the, one of the major contracts we had working there was for um, Tandys. People may remember Tandys, the, the electrical joint, as was in the day. Um, and it was their launch of their computer system that we used to manufacture. This is how far it's going back. We used to manufacture the timber, the logos, for um, their 2RS80 computer system. So we used to go over the country fitting that. Um, then I left there, did a short spell of self-employment in the construction industry. And then I went to work, complete change of career, went to work in um, the laundry industry for Spring Grove Services up at uh, Park Lane, just on the edge of Hansworth. And I worked there for 10 years or so. Um, service controller, that was part of uh, a national company, which then became an international company before being brought out by the local now Sunlight. Um, and then through injury, I, had, uh, I injured my back. I um, haven't worked since I got two herniated discs, so that's preventing me from doing a lot of work. Still trying to do some voluntary work. We used to run a project next door um, for children on the allotments. So we run that for six years to get the local kids from the four schools involved. The original concept was just to get schools into gardening. Um, I think the main reason behind that from the school's point of view was it enabled the schools to access funding, to create more activities for, for kids. So um, we devised this plan that we would utilise the allotment for four primary schools and three early years groups in the local Shear Start um, to come and learn how to grow their own food. And basically we, we devised this programme that was called Seed to Plate. So uh, on the whole, the kids did the planting, they did all the tending. We looked after it in, in the interim because they had to come on a good uh, time scale, come once a week. But uh, so we would water, obviously, because you don't think it's to die. But generally they did all the maintenance work and looked after the plants until they reached harvest time and then they took them back to school. And fortunately the school cooks were very good. Despite what you see in the press about complaints about school cooking and time and all that, the school cooks were very good and they did cook the stuff the kids grew so they could taste it. Now, um, again, funding restrictions and time and government changed things so they needed the curriculum time for other things. And uh, then funding got ring-fenced and the um, coalition took over. So they just didn't have the money. When I was at the laundry, I could have moved. I had the opportunity to move. Um, I was only young, I was 23 at the time. And um, I could have moved away, gone to London, doubled my salary, uh, company car. But as I said, we were both young, me and my wife were only young. We hadn't got any children at the time, so there were no real toys. But it was just, I didn't want to leave my hometown. I wanted to stay in the area I knew. Not, and I had to think of my wife as well. She was, as I say, she was only young, she was only nine. Uh, she would be 22, I think, at the time. So it would have been difficult for her to be at home all day, on her own, not knowing anyone. So I turned the opportunity down. And, okay, you live to regret things. But then again, I like where I live. It's like most places, really. It's changed for the worse. Um, Wensby was a thriving little town. It really was. But then the advent of the supermarket just killed all the small towns. In Wensby, you could buy anything. It, you really could buy anything. Um, one of the last great things to go from Wednesday, I suppose, if you talk to the older people, um, that you appreciate more as you get older yourself, is um, we used to have the, the slab fishman. We used to have the, the cold marble slab open to the street and you could buy your fish off there fresh every, every day. Of course, now Morrison's do a similar thing, but it's not the same. Um, we used to have a sports shop that you could get any sporting equipment from. Not these giant things like you get now, you know, like the, the JJBs and things like that. It was an uh, independent little shop. It was a great town. You could buy absolutely anything. But now it tends to be fast food and set down shops. <laughs>